Okay, so Priscilla's got this great idea. <laughs> it's a honeydew idea. Yep. I have put up with this ugly old bookshelf for a long time. Shelf. All the shelves are falling out and it's just very rickety. It's a Walmart special and worse. So I pleaded with Joeis that asking him that he would just make me a bookshelf. I don't care how it is, just make me a bigger bookshelf. <laughs> so you can see these papers are on the floor because the children, this thing's literally falling apart. There's no place for it. It's like shaking in the, in the breeze. And this have, is upstairs in our family room right here. Yeah, and we have a basket of books back here because There's nothing games in here. doesn't fit. So here's what she wants to do. She wants to throw this thing away, which I'm highly agreed. I'm too cheap. I don't want to spend $300 on a decent bookshelf. So I told her, I'll help her make a bookshelf, the whole family, actually. So we're going to go out to our barn this afternoon, mm -hmm. right now, and in two hours, we're going to try to make a bookshelf. We're going to make it out of rough sawn lumber. We might not get it painted, though. No, we? no. Just put just, together yeah. and maybe hopefully sand it. Yeah. And then we have to stain it or paint it later. Okay? See, so we can do that, kiddos? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. So we're going to make it 45 inches wide overall. Five feet tall and 12 inches deep with three shelves. Yeah. Okay, so the time starts now. Yeah. Pick a oh dot perfect. Here we go. Breaker flipped. Okay, first cut down. There we go. Let's go. Chop chop. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're right now in the middle of making our sides here. So one secret I'm going to show you is you always cut forward first and then you can go down and cut back. When you, if you cut forward, you score the top and it makes a nice clean cut. If you just go like that, cut back. It can frazzle it up and then it, it's all frazzly. So we cut forward first. First you make sure you're on the line, which we are. Yogi. Where you go, Ethan, take that.
Okay, they're cleaning off this area. Yeah, we need the shelves. Start putting that, putting together the bookshelf. Okay, get me in. We've got two amazing no. helpers. They're really growing up. Now, just a big experiment for the blocks. Yep, beautiful. Okay, that's how we're gonna do that. See if we're missing anything before I get too crazy here. Okay, I think that's that's right how I want it. Perfect. Just gonna clamp these together really tight. Beautiful. Now to put these right in place where we want them. about this screw she just put in here. That screw I recognize because I took it out of a job that I did about an hour away from here in a place called Yak, Montana. And that screw was put in by my cousin Harley Miller about 20 years ago on some railing. I, I replaced the railing. So now it's, it's reclaimed screw. Shelf number two. Give it a light sandy with this fucking brush. Pretty smooth right there, awesome. Okay. Now we're gonna hit the front just a little bit. Yeah, get that front. It doesn't sand it, it literally just smooths it, which is nice. Now we're gonna hit the bottoms real quick. You see it lightens it up some. Feels really good. Awesome. Okay, one down. Exactly one inch in. Okay. And I want to make sure I'm square. Get there. We can do it everywhere. Nice and square. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to pre drill it, boys. And this is two. Three and a half, perfect, yes, okay. Oh, you can use, really put this thing on one. You're playing, messing with me, boy. <laughs> Buddy boy. Now it's all messed up again. But somebody was playing. <laughs> You're not paying attention. That would be Ethan. <laughs> it's rustic, but it's got to be perfect. Yeah. It's going to be a sturdy, okay, heavy. Good. Okay, let's put a screw in there before we do anything else. Another one.
full. Skate them. Gonna be ready for the screw gun here in just a jiffy. Drill. Tropics, Justin. Ah, another reclaimed screw. Justin. that this face was flush here. So I'm gonna bump this forward, make a little modification, and I'm just gonna add a strip back here along the back. So I bumped it forward another inch and a half. We'll just add a strip here, and you'll never know it. So we're gonna rip that next. Chalking across, I'm going to take this other piece of metal right here, lay it on top, and that's my straight edge. And it showed me that trick, and I thought it was pretty cool. I simply go like that. There we go. And that's my straight edge right there. Just trace along there. No chalking lines or anything. See, my wife might be good at making cherry pie, but I know a few things about working. <laughs> he sure does. Okay, I'm gonna show you my little fancy tool that I really, really like. Okay, bring it over here, boys. I use this to do metal roofs, and it works so good. You can cut huge amounts of metal in a short amount of time. It's metal shears on a screw gun. Pretty cool. So here we go. If I just really careful, I can make a nice straight edge. Okay, 
this there's some mark that this I didn't give a half of it so we're gonna fasten this metal here. Just using simple drywall screws. Okay, need a call, screw please. show you some of the features of this bookshelf. I raised the floor off the, the bottom shelf off the floor one inch and again the bottom shelf in between the two shelves is 15 inches, 12 inches, then 10 and 10 inches. So it's 10, 10, 12 and 15 and we overhung the end one inch. These were all rough cut boards we just sanded them down a little bit with our buffing brush. And so there you have it. I think it's gonna look good in our house. Yeah, we will show you next time the finished look with the uh, varnish and the stain. Yep. Or and whatever it, we decide. And as you can see, we're inside our doghouse right here. This is inside our barn. And we're almost ready to uh, get some dogs in here, but we're still just putting the finishing touches on it. We have to finish the floor. Uh, we're gonna acid stain the floor and a few things like that. Put some of the camels up inside and we're good to go. Yeah. Was that fun, guys? Uh -huh. Yeah. Good job, thanks for helping.